Good morning, friends. Welcome to the new edition of Fellowship Vartha. Today, we have got Arnav Saha, Laha with us. He started uh, from Himachal, then went to Kanpur, and then has got several fellowships. So we'll discuss uh, about him. Arnav, I would request you to share information. How did you uh, start your bachelor or subsequent journey in India? Thank you, uh, Dr. Vashne. Uh, and first of all, thanks for this wonderful initiative and giving me an opportunity to share these experiences. So let me just introduce my field. So it will be a much more uh, good for the audience who are interested to pursue a research in this field. So my research sphere is in geospatial technology, and I primarily focus on Earth's place in space. Okay, that's a uh, good to go uh, one line introduction. So you asked me about my academic journey in Machel. So yeah, I after uh, passing out my 12, I my academic journey in Machel was very roller coaster ride because it was first time I am out of my town. And uh, yeah, honestly, at that time, I never envisioned myself in research because at that time, people are like me or students only think about job. So yes, I did my bachelor's in civil engineering and, and I end up with a job in a construction firm. But I realized that it's not cup of my tea. So when you came to from Himachal to Kanpur and you came to know about various uh, research opportunities and various fellowship, how did you go about it? Yeah, so um, after doing a job for like one year, less than one year, like 10 to 11 months. So I uh, noticed that it's uh, not going easy. So I opted to go for a gate exam. Then I qualified that and I enrolled myself as a master's student in Department of Civil Engineering under Professor Sina, where I used to work and delineated a few risk zones uh, on like forest fire and floods. And at that time, uh, under the guidance of him, I realized that I I can do a little bit of research and I got interested. So at that time, I was mm, thought about that I will do a doctor degree uh, from abroad. But uh, there's a saying that uh, man proposes and God disposes. So I finished my MTech in 2019 and COVID came in 2019. So I talked with my parents and my supervisors and they advised me to pursue a PhD here. And so I uh, pursued my PhD in Department of Civil Engineering at IIT Kanpur under Professor Dixit. And he told me that, yes, people are doing, and I was much more fascinated about the subject Earth. So he told me that people are doing regular remote sensing or SAR or this thing. So you can opt for this. Or another, my supervisor, Professor Nagarajan, introduced me to a field called geodesy. So that's a my more technical word for my field. And he told me that, yes, we can help you, but not a technical field. So you need to look out for different fellowships so that you can learn about these things. So uh, I came I came to know about Professor Bohm, who is my co-supervisor from TUV. And we have a discussion. And he let me know about this Ernst Mark scholarship. And uh, I I wrote that Ernst Mark scholarship twice, and I was two times awardee of that scholarship. And fortunately, I received that. And can you, after can you Arnav, elaborate what is Ernst Mark scholarship, for okay. whom it is, and uh, okay. yeah. So Ernst Mark scholarship is a. Uh, short term scholarship i will first focus on short term scholarship it's the maximum duration is for 9 months and it's provided by oead so oead is the department of education and internalization in austria okay so they pay a monthly stipend and it, it's like per year they increase it so when i started in 2023 it was 1250 now it's 1350 so, and the good part is These you figures can are in euros. euros, yeah, 1250, yeah. 1350. And they, they pay for a round trip airfare also. Okay. 
and yep. and a good part is uh, you can reapply it again after a uh, six months duration so what you are trying to say that uh, you were registered for phd at kanpur you applied for yes. this fellowship you got an opportunity to interact with a professor in austria you went yeah. back, had a, another stint in kanpur and then reapplied yes was wonderful yeah yeah main question lot of researchers in india are facing mm -hmm. is finding mm -hmm. a potential host abroad so, yes so how did you do it and uh, how did you generate references so that your application for this fellowship could get through yeah once i uh, uh, get to know about my research topic so i looked uh, for who are the people uh, doing this job and the thing is at that time due to covid every conferences was online and it was free that's the advantage for me so i attended most of the conference i understand or not i don't know but i attended them then i was i will say i was very much lucky so in my first mail i i, I wrote to professor bo from tuv because he was one of the stalwarts in this field and he was kind enough to reply me within one day then yes i am happy to co supervise you but we can have a discussion before that and then yes things were very easy after that so i will say it was not difficult for me to find a host yeah. professor in ernst mark scholarship yeah i think uh, it's a message for the viewers that conferences and workshops are the great networking tool where not only you listen to the speakers but you can also develop an interaction mm -hmm. on what they are doing how it complements or supplement or augment your or their work so you can yeah. develop a kind of rapport which helps you in getting placement like what arnav has got so, so i will add another thing in this with this so i i also awarded this eth 4d means eth for development scholarship and it was also happened through one of the conferences when i was in vienna so i was in one of the conferences i and i met professor soza and i i told that i want to work in this machine learning things and uh, uh, he told me yes he will be uh, happy to invite me but you need to seek some funding yeah yeah so then i came about this ernst mark scholarship uh, sorry uh, eth yes. for development scholarship through a linkedin post okay and, and another advantage it's also for a short duration means okay. for for a student like me who is a single child and need to yeah. uh, take care of my parents it's very easy you just go for a couple of months do your research and then came back do the writing stuff and this things and then again yeah. and uh, one thing i would like to understand from you you have been exposed to several academic environments mm -hmm. what kind of difference you feel and what are the best practices india could adopt uh, from these learnings and mm -hmm. also because you have been hopping how you are syncing it with your phd goals so uh, before this ernst mark scholarship so i uh, i Professor Bohm was my co-supervisor, and we at that time we have thought of that what we will I will be doing in this field. So a basic rough idea we had discussed. So yes, it was first me for it was my first time to have an experienced internationally and working with them because the subject was very new to me and I need to prove myself. But I will say. uh the working atmos atmosphere at tu wien or in any other european means it's very excellent so the i will say they are uh very much prompt and very much uh punctual and they maintain their academic calendar a lot yeah so this is the first thing i need means i will say it's a good thing a student can also learn just you you should maintain your calendar and you should be honest with your technical uh results or discussions if it is a good then it's good if it's bad then also you need to show the bad thing or yeah. that's that's i learned a lot 
means every uh, research or every thing you are doing doesn't mean it will be have a positive result. Yeah. And um, for this ETH scholarship, I have not been to ETH now, but I will be going soon. Yeah. But I'm I'm working with one of uh, the researcher from ETH, uh, Matthias Kartner, for last two years, and mm -hmm. I must say I acknowledge his promptness. Means I never I faced any doubt. I write to him. He just give me an answer within half an hour, or if he is busy, he just let me know. I will get back to you mm -hmm. soon. Yeah, so one these of things my I observation think... here is that uh, if you are to the point and you are mm -hmm. helping the cause of your potential host, they would be too yeah. prompt in responding. So yes, remain focused. Don't start your dialogue asking for so many help at a time. In the yeah. initial mail, you should talk only about your subject interest, the questions, the interest, how you are augmenting, supplementing each other so if that remains yeah. focused then probably you get better response yeah. so, i will say step by step working yeah. should be done yeah and yeah. how you are thinking everything into your phd yeah so uh this geospatial technology is very new in india means and if i say technically this but my field space geodesy is not now in india and it will be rising soon in india so yes, uh, PhD itself is a long journey and the award, the title itself is a rewarding, but uh, uh, my, this whole uh, thing that going to ETH or going to TUV, it, everything gets me into a position that I can say that I have done a significant research in this field. Without this, I cannot yeah. uh, have this same. Yeah, yeah, actually I, disagree a bit with Arnav. Uh, GeoDC mm -hmm. is not completely new to India. Several organizations like NGRI, IIT Rookie, uh, and some other institutions are doing, including space people are doing it, but it's not in very, very advanced stage, and it requires a lot of new talent uh, to be inducted uh, in this science. And in fact, uh, in the state like Uttarakhand, where a lot of accidents are happening, such things could be of great help. Uh, Arnav, I would like to learn from you. How do you see Arnav 10 years from now? Or what are your future plans? How do you see yourself growing up? Yeah. Before that, I, I will mention that, yes, geodesy is not new, but space geodesy is a new field in India. No, so the space department yeah. is doing it. Yeah, but yeah, they are doing that. Yeah. But so very that's a different story. Yeah, yeah, very restricted. Yeah, yeah. So in India, means after doing a PhD, one cannot have a several plans. Yeah, means I have seen in uh, Europe or US, there are a lot of opportunities apart from industry or academic. But whether you chose to be a professor or being a uh, research scientist in industry, but in 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 India, these are the two things. So also, yeah, I also see myself as a professor or assistant means I would like to join as assistant professor in any one of the IITs because I love teaching. No, suppose and in academics, what is the yeah. research question you would like to address? So first, uh, the research question will be how India can be benefited from this research, the space geodesy means, or this, the main, the main goal is for the precise navigation. And for this precise navigation, we need our own reference frame. So yes, India doesn't have our own reference frames. And yes, I will work on this field and I will try to uh, solve the uh, natural hazard problems, basically, using this geodesy field. Yeah. Great. Uh, Arnab, one of, uh, since we are running lot, uh, out of time, last question to yeah. you. What will mm -hmm. be your advice? You know, in India, a lot of uh, students are looking for fellowship abroad. Mm -hmm. What would be your advice on do's and don'ts when they are looking for such fellowships, especially outside India? Yeah. Uh, yes, um, I, I agree. There are different things, but I will very short enough with five, four to five points. So I first I will start with this. Every PhD journey is unique. Means... And first point is that 
you should choose your fellowship according to your need. Okay. And second, talk to your supervisor, Indian supervisor, talk to your host professor in detail and be honest. Be honest to them what you know and be honest in the application form also. And I will must say you should try to focus on transferable skills. Means for my case, I did my master's in one domain and my PhD is another domain. But I learned something in my master's which I, I can transfer it to this domain. It's a just on application. But this coding part or the research part, so you need to focus on your transferable skills and you, do, you need to mention it in your application that yes, I learned this and I can implement this after having a good guidance. So these are the do's which I will say. And another, I will say, if you have a space in your application and word limit is a constraint, try to put your research objectives in a, a graphical form. Victorious. Then it's a, yeah, so it will be easier to understand one who is evaluating your application. And, and for don't, I will say, yes, everyone do, will do mistake, but the, the main don't, I will say, don't try to do, don't try to fill your application from uh, AI. Because nowadays people are doing so and the committee members and professors are good enough or good experience that they will be knowing this. Because when you are writing, there will be a human touch. But when a machine is learning, writing, you, they will miss that. So I will say this are the main key points for a uh, fellow Only other point experience. I would like to add that uh, if your supervisor knows your potential host personally or through earlier yeah. work, it's fantastic. But if he, yes. he also doesn't know, you need to read about the host professor, the institute where you are going, because these days in time of digital technology, all those information is available. So you will know yes. what is the QS rank of the institution, what is the individual H index of the faculty you are going. So please keep those factors also in mind and plan your journey. Thank you, Arnab. Yeah, I, will, will, yeah. uh, I will also add that like most of the conferences are now in hybrid mode. So try to attend those. And yeah. try to do what people are doing. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah. So thank you, Arna, for your time. It was nice talking to you. And I hope the message you have given to our audience would guide them in planning their research journey abroad. Thank you.